So what am I going to report on today? We're going to be paying tribute to a late flat ride that closed recently. It's Ramsey's Revenge at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Doncaster Bourne, but built for theme park news and welcome to Close But Not Forgotten. We haven't done an episode of this in ages, absolutely ages. We've got plenty of Close But Not Forgotten updates over the winter months, so make sure you go and stay tuned for all of them. We've got some from Bob at F Telling, uh, Pleasure Island Theme Park, um, Robin Hood at Wallaby Holland, we've got a couple of Leesburg coasters as well. We've got plenty of stuff coming up. Cloud Cuckoo Land, that's in the works. So, you know, I can't wait to share all those Cobra Not Forgotten updates with you over the winter months and the 2020 season. So let's get started then with our first Close But Not Forgotten episode in quite a while. We're paying tribute to a recent closure over the last couple of days. Ramesses Revenge at Chessington World of Adventures. Ramesses Revenge is a horse top spin and this ride first opened in 1995. It's a very old ride. Um, it was the world's first top spin ride to feature a drown upside down element. It's situated in the Egyptian themed Forbidden Kingdom area of the park and it's surrounded by buildings resembling a traditional Arabic market town while the ride itself is built into a huge pit. Now of course these Merlin parks, even though it wasn't owned by Merlin at that point, um, you know, it was like a two-saw kind of thing um, and, and stuff like that, even though it wasn't Merlin. Um, you know, they still had rides dug into a huge pit. You look at Nemesis at Alton Towers, the Blade at uh, Alton Towers that filled the old Thunderlooper site when it became the pit. Um, so they have these pit rides. So it's not the first pit ride they had in, the, uh, in these sort of UK parks. Uh, now, Ramesses Revenge was the main focus of the advertising for that year at Chessington and was also widely featured in the British media, especially featured its, in its own segment on the ITV Evening News. So, I can't believe how long that was now. Uh, now, it was rebranded with a new colour scheme and logo in the year 2000 and then refurbished in 2007 with new settings placed on the ride's program programmable logic controller to improve rideability. Ramesses Revenge closed to the public on November 3rd, 2019 and removed from Chessington at the end of this year with a crocodile themed drop tower being a proposed replacement for the 2021 season. We spoke about that in a separate video so make sure you go check out those uh, 10 to 25 minute long videos that we did on the drop tower um, and speaking about that future ride. Um, now with this removal it means there's no more permanent host top spins in the UK just the travelling version so that's the last permanent version because of course Ripsaw that was removed at the end of 2015-2016 that first opened in 1997 at the Alton Towers Resort you know that was the second to last Ramesses Revenge was the last one the last permanent top spin in the UK so um, very sad to see it removed uh, Ramesses Revenge is one of the successfully and nationally recognised rides to have opened in Britain Expansive marketing campaign gained the ride the title as one of the most revolutionary frat rides of all time. The ride was responsible for the most attended year in Chessington's history with over 2.2 million guests reportedly visiting in the 1995 season. So Ramesses Revenge for Chessington World Adventures was a legendary ride and a legendary themed ride to go with it. Now despite this new crocodile themed drop tower set to come in for 2021 to help revitalize the Forbidden Kingdom area. Um, Ramesses Revenge is an iconic flat ride, a very iconic flat ride. And even though I never got the chance to experience it, I know what one of those drowned upside down elements feels like, because of course I've experienced Ripsaw uh, with the sprays and that. So, you know, Ramesses Revenge was the first and then Ripsaw followed with that kind of element. But I know what kind of ride I've experienced, because it's, it's pretty much Ripsaw in a different park. So I knew what kind of ride I was experiencing with Ripsaw that I knew I'd experienced with Ramesses Revenge. Ramesses Revenge is a very iconic attraction and a very classic flat ride. It's one of the true last flat rides. It was, it's one of the last like thrilling flat rides at Jessington. It's one of the last true uh, extreme thrill rides at Chessington. Uh, so we're losing the last of the thrill rides at the parks. So, you know, Chessington is a real family park now. 
because uh, they've lost the last sort of main flat ride, the, ma the main flat thrill ride um, in history. So, you know, you know, it's, it was a sad day for UK theme parks when we lost that ride. Really sad day. And everyone who's been at the closing day, comment down below your best memories of Ramesses Revenge if you've ridden the ride. Because uh, I bet that ride was brilliant. So, rest in peace, Ramesses Revenge, 1995 to 2019. You will be missed. Now, whether it's been relocated to Thorpe or whatever ridiculous rumours going down, I think it's going to get demolished. I think, even though it's on, for, even though it's for sale as well as Black Buccaneer, as as well as that's up for sale on the right on, on the website. I don't know if it's going to get sold anywhere, probably just like for scrap parts or anything, so I feel like it is going to get demolished, but I think, again, things can change drastically, but for now, rest in peace, Ramesses Revenge. Thank you very much for watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Ghost Chow, Kill the Ghost of Life, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.